you have this first game, it's like an asteroid game, and what it generally turns out to be is sort of a random generator. So if we listen to something extremely basic here. Basic Yeah. If we cut out the variables. We'll say okay. So what we have is two types of gate sequences. You have one when the asteroids hit the ground. You have to use your imagination a little bit. It's very low pi. The asteroids hit the ground. It creates a gate. Or you have this other gate where if your spaceship, your red spaceship here, hits one of the asteroids, it also sends a gate. Oh, like it explodes. So, yeah. That's very Atari. So, well, that's what we bought in Atari 2600. Where how could we turn Yars Revenge into a sequencer? <laughs> So you can set the, right now there's only two, but you can set the total number of asteroids, you can see 5, 15, 25, and it just gets very chaotic, very fast. Um, you can move the, your guy around manually, you can have it auto play, or the entire user interface is voltage controllable, so you can use gates and sequences, your gates and C, CV to control your guy. So, do left, up. So the idea is that this, the, the modular runs the sequence. You don't have to actually play it yourself. Oh, okay. Unless you want to. You know, sometimes when you're, you just got no inspiration, a little game of asteroids will make you feel a little bit better. <laughs> asteroids. So this is, the end result of this one is sort of just a random generator, but it's fun.